Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you an effective cybersecurity career roadmap for beginners. My name is Lauren and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro fast. Let's get started. Cybersecurity is an incredible field to work in. The variety and complexity of work make it a field where you're genuinely and constantly learning new things. It's also a field that consistently struggles to find talent to fill the many available positions. Cyber threats have grown exponentially over the past decade. According to some sources, some industries have seen growth of security incidents in the thousands of percent. Ransom demands have grown from a maximum of $500 in 2016 to $90 million in 2022. The cybersecurity community needs staff to combat the growth in threats. But that leaves a lot of young people planning for a career asking the following questions. What is a career in cybersecurity? And how do I pursue a career in cybersecurity? This video will discuss what a career in cybersecurity looks like and the roadmap for getting there. It will address that in three parts. Baseline, what cybersecurity is as a domain, outline potential career progression through cybersecurity, and putting one and two together to highlight how you can roadmap your career in cybersecurity. Let's dive in. What is cybersecurity? I feel like a lot of career guidance for cybersecurity immediately jumps from the question, how do I get a career, to a discussion of coding languages and infrastructure knowledge. That excludes large swaths of potential cybersecurity career seekers and makes the domain unapproachable to many. I think it does a disservice overall because it shows the unfamiliarity and inexperience of those sources. Cybersecurity as a domain typically covers four or five distinct career paths and might include more. It's also critical to note that while many corporations have a cybersecurity office and some offices may cover all the elaborated paths, not all cybersecurity happens within that office. The five conceptual cybersecurity career paths are security operations. Examples of different jobs in this domain are management of security infrastructure, vulnerability management, threat hunting and purple teaming, governance, risk and compliance, GRC, or information security risk management, ISRM. Examples of different jobs in this domain are security education, auditing and assessments, third-party risk management, organizational policy management, and enterprise risk, access controls, and IT operations. Examples of different jobs in this domain are account management specialists, help desk technicians, active directory and identity governance analysts, and cloud specialists. Network controls. Examples of different jobs in this domain are firewall manager, NAC specialist, and networking analyst. DevSecOps. These are typically developers who want to focus on secure coding and development practices. Again, some organizations may differ in size and scope of the office, but those are the most typically encountered career paths. What does career progression look like? Most cybersecurity offices are split into different levels. Those levels provide a vertical trajectory for career progression based on the skills and experience you accumulate over time. Since offices are as varied as the organizations that employ them, this is going to be very generic. You don't need to enter the security office from the bottom and work your way up. I feel like that should be obvious, but is really missed by a lot of people. If you have 20 plus years of network infrastructure management experience, you're not joining a security office as a junior analyst. You likely have the skills and expertise needed to pick up at a much more senior level. Conversely, if you have four years of financial audit experience, you might be joining a security office at a junior level. 
you lack the tangible expertise in security frameworks and technology that are critical for some more typical audit-like roles in the security office. Whatever level you happen to be in at your career, don't fret. Cybersecurity is an exciting and rewarding field that's hungry for committed and developing talent. Most offices are roughly organized as a pyramid directed by a Chief Information Security Officer, CISO, Security Director, or other similar position. They're supported at the bottom by a dedicated group of analysts who may have come from many different avenues of training and careers. Starting from the bottom up are junior analysts. Junior analysts typically have between zero and five years of work experience. That's a distinct change from a decade ago where most junior analysts came from some other career path, whether that be development, network management, endpoint management, audit, etc. That change is driven by the growth of cybersecurity programs in colleges worldwide. Progressing from the junior analyst position are mid-tier and senior analyst positions. While years of experience vary, mid-tier analyst positions usually request between 4 and 10 years of experience, and senior analyst positions between 7 and 15 years of experience. Advancing from those positions moves into architecture and management. Some architects see that as the pinnacle of their careers and focus intently on influencing the technology and design of systems. Other architects will eventually opt to move into managerial positions in the security office or technology office. Security management is typically delineated into managers, directors, and the CISO. I don't think there are hard and fast rules for years of experience for those positions. Instead, it's better to focus on the expectations of those positions. Security managers. These individuals are good people and project managers that can drive work to completion to meet security office strategic goals. Security directors. These individuals are security thought leaders and drive strategy for the security office. They also provide solid points of interface with the rest of the IT department and organizational operational groups. CISO. This is an individual who is an organizational thought leader and drives security in the broader context of organizational and technology strategy. Typically, this person is also a strong people leader and interfaces with other organizational leadership and staff to drive security as a domain. Now that we've discussed what cybersecurity is and what the career progression generally looks like, let's combine the two topics to outline how to map a career roadmap in cybersecurity. Cybersecurity Career Roadmap Security Operations This career path is largely devoted to management of security visibility and safeguard infrastructure, threat hunting and modeling, vulnerability management, and penetration testing. A lot of that requires knowledge of security tool and platform operation, understanding how to automate security workflow tasks, some knowledge of common security coding languages like Python, and understanding of how network, authentication, and system operations works. Historically, analysts were sourced from automation, development, desktop management, server management, and network management teams. That made a lot of sense. Someone working with a technology that needed to be secured takes an interest in security and moved into focusing on that. More recently, schools worldwide have developed cybersecurity courses, domains, and majors. Those dedicated cybersecurity programs provide generalized technology training designed to prepare you for the more generalized nature of cybersecurity. There's great value to those programs. While a lot of people thrive from on-the-job training, others don't. A program targeted on threat management training provides a broad basis of technology solutions and how to secure them. It provides hands-on experience and training with security management and penetration tools. 
There are also many certifications available for individuals who want to demonstrate their security knowledge. CISSP Security Plus AWS Security Certification Azure Security Certification and other certifications go a long way towards demonstrating solid competence and even expertise in technical cybersecurity. GRC and ISRM. This career path tends to be the most audit-like function in the security office. GRC, ISRM, or however it's expressed, is designed to measure and quantify risks to the confidentiality, integrity, or availability of information based on administrative, physical, and technical controls posture. This team typically manages the security framework an organization uses, policy and procedure development, conformance to those policies and procedures, third-party and supply chain risk, information security education, and other similar domains. It's tough to quantify a specific background for this path because of how it spans technical and administrative domains. On the one hand, someone who has a strong technical background, like security operations, will thrive in this position if they pick up policy development, drafting, and strong people skills. On the other, a strong auditor, writer, attorney, or similar background who wants to develop their hard technology skills can also thrive in this position. A career in GRC and ISRM is well served by someone who has or can develop understanding of how technology systems work, risks to underlying data stores, excellent writing and communication skills, a strong sense of propriety and impropriety and the ability to communicate that to peers, auditing skills and experience, and training skills and experience. Educational cybersecurity programs also cover GRC and ISRM as a domain. While there are certain skills that are largely effectively taught through experience, like communication and auditing skills, they provide a solid foundation for future development. There are also some great supplementary certifications demonstrating competence in this space, like the CISA, CRISC, CAP, and CIPP. As long as it's generally industry standard and assessment or controls focused, you can't go wrong. Access controls and IT operations. This is one of the career paths that is sometimes included in a security office and sometimes included in IT operations groups. In any event, it's a great feeder into the security office because of the interface with automation tasks, application operations and access domain management, and server management. There are some great educational options specific to IT operations, but these individuals can also come from other backgrounds and pick up training on the job. Parlaying an access control or IT operations career into a cybersecurity career can be straightforward. On-the-job training within an organization provides a solid understanding of administration tools and applications. That can be supplemented by learning how security infrastructure works and interacting with that infrastructure. Additional certifications and education can also help. That education and certifications wouldn't be materially different than someone trying to become an analyst under a different career path. Additional certifications to consider are AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner, AWS Certified SysOps Administrator, AWS Certified Database, Google IT Support Certificate, Microsoft 365 Certified, Exchange Online Support Engineer, Microsoft 365 Certified, Fundamentals, Microsoft Certified, Teams Support Engineer Specialty, Microsoft 365 Certified Enterprise Administrator Expert, Microsoft 365 Certified Modern Desktop Administrator Associate, MTA Windows Operating System Fundamentals, Microsoft Certified Azure Virtual Desktop Specialty, 
CompTIA IT Fundamentals, CompTIA A+, CompTIA Cloud+, CompTIA Linux+, CompTIA Server+. Network Controls. Like access controls and IT operations, this is a career path sometimes included in a security office, but sometimes not. It's very closely linked to cybersecurity and is a great feeder domain into the security office. Typically, network control staff deal with network equipment, network design, firewall management, NAC management, and network zero trust management. A lot of what a security office does is manage network security, secure email gateways, firewall rules, CASB, SASE solutions, DLP, and others. On the job or educational training about network theory, design, and operations is a boon to any security office. As a result, pivoting into security should be a breeze. Demonstrable understanding of network operations, management, and design is key to securing any organization. Network controls teams also tend to interact robustly with security visibility tools, especially in the network and log aggregation spaces. That kind of experience is invaluable to security teams. There are also other certifications to think about. CompTIA Network Plus, AWS Certified Advanced Networking, Microsoft, MTA Mobility and Device Fundamentals, Microsoft, MTA Networking Fundamentals, Cisco CCST Networking, Cisco CCNA, Aruba ACMA Mobility, Aruba ACSA Switching, Aruba ACDA Design, Aruba ACCA ClearPass, Aruba ACA Network Security. DevSecOps, Given the popularity of shift left as a philosophy and the increased role the development teams take in cybersecurity as a result, this one almost didn't make the list. I think there are great opportunities for developers to incorporate cybersecurity into their daily routine and operations. That said, there are many opportunities for developers to contribute meaningfully and robustly to a cybersecurity team. Automation is key to any modern security office, which typically requires a thorough knowledge of Python or derivative languages. Commonly, security infrastructure doesn't interoperate nearly as well as sold by vendors and needs customization and development to interface properly. There's also a solid place for recommendations around application security, secure development practices, and architecture to which a developer can significantly contribute. The career development opportunities for this path are similar to network controls and access controls or IT operations. So long as someone has expertise in a technical domain, has interest in cybersecurity, and wants to make the jump into a security office, they easily can. Alternatively, someone fresh out of school who knows how to code and wants to begin a career in cybersecurity right out of the gate would also be a great candidate for working in a security office. For someone newer, it's probably not a bad idea to have some security certifications under your belt to really signal your interest and knowledge of security domains like Aruba ACA Network Security, Cisco CCST Cybersecurity, Cisco CyberOps Associate, AWS Certified Security, CompTIA Security Plus, Microsoft MTA Security Fundamentals, Microsoft Certified Security, Compliance, and Identity Fundamentals, ISC Squared, CSSLP, ISC Squared, SSCP, ISACA, CISSP, EC Council, CEH. Taking it to the next level. So far, this discussion has covered entry into a cybersecurity career. Entry doesn't mean entry level. If you're a network specialist, 
or have been a developer for 20 plus years and hop into security, chances are you have more knowledge about your domain than most people in the security office and you'll be a senior or architectural resource. If you've been an IT manager for a decade, then there's no reason you couldn't be a security manager or director or even CISO. It's tough to exactly identify what skill set will put you where in an organization. Typically, more senior positions are targeted at network, endpoints, cloud, cybersecurity infrastructure, etc. Generalist senior positions also exist, but those individuals typically work in one or more specific domains. Later in your career, you'll have interacted with enough members of the security team and other teams to understand how to achieve greater seniority. Typically, that's through showing aptitude and expertise in different domains or on different facets of corporate infrastructure. What you should think about as you pursue a career in cybersecurity is what you'll do at the latter stages of your career. Do you want to focus on security operations, architecture, or management? Generally, all require the same baseline skills, an understanding of security threats, risks, operations, and how to mitigate them. Senior security operations staff specialize in mitigating those threats. They do so typically by managing the security infrastructure in visibility, threat hunting, vulnerability management, etc. Senior staff typically come up from junior security office staff or from individuals with extensive experience in other domains. Architects specialize in thoughtful approaches to integrate aspects of security and other infrastructure. They take a more comprehensive view of how to build and integrate systems as that relates to technology strategy overall. It's a highly technical advisory role. Moving into that role requires a high degree of thoughtfulness, strategic thinking, and understanding of how technology works. There are some certifications for architects, but showing aptitude and passion for the work is critical. Some certifications you can pursue are Aruba, ACDA Design, Cisco, DevNet Associate, AWS Certified Solutions Architect, AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner, Microsoft Certified Cybersecurity Architect Expert, ISACA CISM. The same is true for management positions inside and outside the security office. Being able to address people's needs is critical. As a leader, you're responsible for managing expectations, workload, interpersonal relationships, and issues that arise in the course of day-to-day -day work. Some managers reject addressing those issues and that makes them bad managers. Strategic planning is also a must. You're responsible for how your organization fits into the broader corporate strategy and direction. Understanding that and being able to drive contributions to that overall strategy and direction is key. Working counter to that strategy and direction can prove ineffective at best. There are many different entries into a security career which can happen at any point in your overall career. The great thing is that the volume of approaches and the number of open opportunities, over a million today and a whopping 3.5 million openings predicted in 2025, makes cybersecurity a relatively easy industry to break into. It helps that a career in cybersecurity is as varied as the systems you work with. As with any other career, you get what you put into it. Vertical movement is driven by competence, skill, and education. There's no shortage of any of those, and they can be developed in school, on the job, and through extraneous training. Check out the video on the right for more content to help you develop your IT career.